determined to make a difference. How do we navigate this new normal? You know, a few years back, it was somewhat easier to make plans for the future, to have great expectations of what life would look like. But in the midst of the changes, how do we navigate the way forward without being blown away by the changes? Changes are inevitable. inevitable. I see the purpose, but it's not easy. Changes are inevitable. inevitable. The future before me, but I have to seize it. One thing that never changes is the steadfast love of God. His desire for you to succeed and His Word. We have to be intentional about where we are headed and be determined to finish what God is showing us to do. Your mind gives you the ability to stay focused when things keep going on all around us. You can move beyond the emotional responses that try to distract you. Your mind is powerful. It has a huge capacity. You should not go through life only using a small fraction of its capacity. You have to be awakened to the fact that you have the ability to bring solutions, to use your mind to tap into the brilliance and intelligence of God. Make a break from give you solutions for this generation, for your generation. You have the mind of Christ. You are here at this time because of what you are carrying. Don't underestimate what God wants to bring through you. You can bring solutions to problems on this earth right now. You are here for such a time as this. Renew your mind so that your thinking is not based on cultural conditioning and propaganda. You can make a difference in this world. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Whatsoever things are true, honest and just, etc. Think on those things. Your mind is amazing if you keep it decluttered from all the negative things going on and keep it on what God has planned for you at this time. This is the beginning of a new day, leaving the past behind. This is the beginning of a new day, my destiny to find. Hallelujah, I never give up. Hallelujah, I never give in. mind can become a destiny altering machine. Even though God said, I know the plans I have for you, plans for good and not for evil, to bring you to an expected end, it is still done in the context of continual relationship with Him. Ask yourself, have you been allowing Him to download ideas and give you sparks of inspiration? The scripture says, that He has placed eternity in your heart. Your future comes from within you. We have to put our mind at work, set goals, set our intentions on doing something and finishing what we set out to do. If you don't like where you are today, change your thinking and you can shift your path and be in a different place tomorrow. The book of Proverbs says, as he thinks in his heart, so is he. You do not have to live beneath your best in God. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. What you will become and what you will accomplish starts in your mind. 
determined to have the mind of Christ. With God, all things are possible. Don't live a restricted life. Connect with your potential and your ability to make a difference. We can make a difference.